Hey what's going on guys, Double A here, and today we're going to be discussing the possible end to the tank meta. This is personally something that I'm extremely excited for, because I'm not a big fan of this meta. There have been recent changes to the BTR that could affect the tank meta, so let's go over them. To start things off, let's discuss the changes coming to Anna. Anna is getting a change to her Biotic Grenade. Anna's Biotic Grenade now gives her a healing boost to her allies of 50% compared to before, which was 100%. So what does that mean exactly? Anna's Biotic Grenade works especially great with tanks in the current live servers. Biotic Grenade heals an ally for 100, then increases all healing received by 100% for 5 seconds. On the PTR, the Biotic Grenade heals an ally for 100 health, then increases all healing by 50% instead of the 100%. This is a huge change to the meta, and it's going to lead to less tanks being a must pick. Anna has amazing healing, and combos really well with tanks due to her high healing per second. With this change, she will no longer be able to keep tanks alive as well as she currently does. Next up, we're going to talk about the changes that are coming to D.Va. Diva's health pool is being changed. Health now has increased from 200 to 400, and her armor has decreased from 400 to 200. So Diva still has the same amount of total health, but now has less armor, which makes her feel a lot more killable. Armor works like this. Whenever armor receives damage, it blocks 5 damage from every individual hit that deals 10 HP or more. If the damage is less than 10, then it is halved. This allows DPS to now be able to dual Diva in 1v1s, and she no longer feels so unstoppable. Diva's fusion cannons have also received a slight nerf by having her bullet damage decrease from 3 to 2, but the number of bullets per shot has been increased from 8 to 11. So on the current live game, she deals 24 damage per shot, compared to the PTR where she deals 22 damage per shot. Overall, this is a significant nerf to Diva, and it will lead to less players using her as often. Now, let's talk about the big change happening with Roadhog. Hook 2.0 So for starters, targets are now pulled directly in front of Roadhog, rather than straight to him. So heroes like Anna who weren't always pulled in range to do your melee combo will now be pulled right in front of you. Hook targets are now released if they leave a Roadhog's line of sight before being pulled in. The line of sight check is now done from Roadhog's position instead of the position of the hook. So overall these changes to Roadhog should feel good for both Roadhog and his enemies. The good part about this change is that the players will now not be hooked around corners. And now finally for the last hero change, Sombra is getting a slight buff. Sombra's hack has had the cast time decrease from 1 second to 0.8 seconds. This should help Sombra hack targets quicker and keep her alive more often. It has felt really difficult to hack players. Hopefully this decreased cast time helps change that. Overall, all these hero changes being implemented are in my opinion geared toward ending this tank heavy meta. Anna, who is the best healer to use while having multiple tanks on your team, is now getting a nerf to her overall possible healing per second, which should prevent her from keeping tanks alive as well as she currently does. Diva changes now allow DPS heroes to potentially duel her with more ease. With less overall damage and the change to Diva's health pool, it leaves her less tanky and overall easier to kill. Rodok should feel much better now with a new hook 2.0, and him not being able to hook people around corners is pretty great. Sombra's change isn't too big, but who knows, maybe she'll be played a little more often now that she can hack faster. Well that's going to do it for us here guys, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to leave a like down below if you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here, I'll see you guys next time, peace.